These cute little alien looking creatures are called Jaboa. Sort of like gerbil, but different. They look somewhat like miniature kangaroos, as they have many similarities. Both have long hind legs, very short forelegs, and long tails. Jaboas move around their environment the same way a kangaroo does, which is by hopping. They also use their tail to balance when hopping, and as a prop when sitting upright, just like a kangaroo. Here are some interesting facts about the desert rodent. They are hopping rodents, which mainly live in the hot deserts, found throughout northern Africa and East Asia to northern China. Jaboas don't drink water. They get all the moisture from their food, mostly plants and insects. When chased, Jaboas can hop away at up to 16 miles per hour. They have a very erratic locomotion, adopting a zigzag trajectory, and can jump several feet both vertically and horizontally, even though they are usually about the size of your fist. They are also nocturnal, which is why they have big eyes. During the day, they live in underground burrows. There are about 31 species of jaboa, including pygmy jaboas, yes, they actually get smaller, and of course some jaboas have short ears and others have long ears, like a rabbit. The most oddly proportioned family member is the long-eared jaboa first caught on film in the wild in 2007. With ears that are two-thirds as long as its body, the animal has one of the largest ear-to-body ratios in the animal kingdom. You might be asking, why the long ears? Well, one of the main reasons is, as the blood moves throughout the ears, the heat easily dissipates from the blood vessels across the skin, helping them keep cool in the desert environments. Most species of jaboa have excellent hearing, that they usually use to avoid becoming the prey of nocturnal predators. The typical lifespan of a jaboa is about six years. Now I know what you're thinking. I want one as a pet. Hell, why not? If they are a rodent, they probably breed like rabbits. Therefore, enough for everyone. But don't go thinking you can have one of these as a pet. They have been barred from entering the United States since 2003, since they were associated with monkeypox. The monkeypox virus causes a disease that is similar to smallpox, but with a milder rash and a lower death rate. Can you say cute but deadly?